1038. This is Spin Five Word Movie Review. Uh, starting off with Jupiter Ascending. Rory. Ludicrous in a good way. And I said Jupiter Ascending up its. Because I did not like this film. No. No, you did not. Like this Second up, Patrick's Day. Poignant but flawed Irish drama. Yeah, very true. Very, very true. Uh, next one is Selma. Above average film, great performances. That's very political. That's very like, you know, like, I didn't like it, but I liked it. And you just kind of like I liked it. it. Yeah. But it was elevated mm -hmm. by the performances, I think. That's what he just said. Yeah. Uh, next up is Sean the Sheep. Wordless animation wins us over. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the interview. Only kinda worth the wait. Yeah. I think everyone's gonna go see it anyway. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's one of the most talked about films of the whole year. Like, I would have said the last five years. Like. Oh, 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 oh. No, seriously. Like, I mean, like, you know, an actual. Just keep it for the uncut. Hey! If you want to see the uncut reviews, go to spin1038.com forward slash movies. Rory, what are we doing next week? Uh, next week, five word reviews for the the big budget romantic film everyone's dying to see, uh, Love is Strange, which is Alfred Molina and John Lithgow. And then there's this other film that I've, I've never heard of it. Fifty Shades of Grey? I assume it's about someone getting lost in a Dulux factory and stuff I'm, goes uh, wrong. If, if Why the Fifty Shades? Would they have, it would have Fifty Shades of Grey paint. Yeah. 